Hello everyone, this is the update video for FlowMap version 2.0. It has many new features. One of the main new feature is that the interaction of the flow with the external object. Now it can generate the interactive flow maps. Along with this preset, you will also get the Lava project file. You can get this tool from my Blender Market page, or from my Gumroad page, or from my Patreon page. All the links are in the video description. So when you download this, you will get this zip file that contain the preset and also the project file. So let's focus on this one. So let's uh, extract this here. It has these files. One more thing is that it also contain this asset file. Now you can directly link this as asset library. So let me show you this. Let's open a new file. Then go to the preferences and basically in this file path you have to define the path for that folder you can put this folder anywhere you want and just select this and add this as assets then save the preferences and let's refresh this now let's add the image plane let's subdivide this then select this image plane and go to the asset browser now you have this new category that is the ks tools it has this flow map keep in mind that all my tools will appear in this category so let's drag this onto this plane and now we have this let me change this to our properties and we have this our modifier panel by default it will bring this curve uh, this texture and this collision collection however you can change all these things i'll show you later in this video so this is how you can use this as asset. Now I will explain the new settings of this uh, flow map version 2.0. So the first new settings is in the uh, direction curve settings. So now you have this trim start and trim end option for the curve. Let me first deselect this so we have a bit speed. So now you can basically trim the curve that is defined for the flow path okay and for this it also generate a new uh, map that is the curve factor so it's like this and you can combine this mask uh, with this use curve as mask option to get this kind of uh, mask and it is animated based on the curve uh, this is really nice feature to basically animate the flow by using this trim option the next main new feature is the collision with the collection so first you have to define the collection that contain the collision object. So I have this collection and let's select that here. It contain this sphere. So now if I play this, see this flow is basically colliding with this object. So sometimes if your input mesh don't have in enough number of subdivision, then this collision may not be uh, as good. So you have to increase the number of uh, subdivisions uh, for your input mesh. Here you can control the strength of the collision with this uh, factor. 0.75 is uh, quite good enough. And then you can define the extent for this collision. Okay. and then follow width and this is the trail mask basically mask behind this object in the material section you have this new collision mask option so i have split this mask into different types so that you have full control over the mask the collision mask is basically the this uh, mask based on this size and follow width then you have collision masks for the direction or you can say the direction in which the flow is interacting with the this object so when you combine this you will get this kind of uh, forehead mask uh, for this uh, object and then you have this trail mask so with this you can control the length or extent for this uh, mask in the direction of the flow and you can also combine these masks to get this uh, total mask uh, they are separated because you can easily define a different material for the forehead and the trail region with these masks this is the collision factor so you can basically control the strength of different materials uh, with this uh, factor option you have a new option for the width that is curve radius as mask width uh, right now we are using this value as a uh, width for curve mask however you can use the curve radius or the radius of the curve points as the width for this curve mask 
let me go to inside this and also enable this option see it is whole texture is moving if we select all the points and open this end panel we can basically decrease this radius of these points something like this 0.05 yeah nice about this is that uh, you can define the radius per point so which is really nice control this home okay let me change back to this mask width option and you have also a new option to export these flow maps to use them in uh, game engines or other softwares first you have to enable them and then you have to basically connect this a uh, node to this material output node and after that you have to add the image texture node then you have to create a new texture based on the width and height according to your object first select the object that have this modifier and then select this image texture and after that go to this cycles render engine and then go to this bake option you can bake this texture as mission type then you can use this bake texture in any uh, software keep in mind that this option is only for to export the flow map okay otherwise you have to disable this this is it about the updates of this uh, flow map version 2.0 now i will show you the lava project file so this is the lava project that i did with this flow map modifier and it is interacting with these object uh, let me play this see it is basically colliding with this this object as well as this uh, suzanne and this is the material uh, for this if you have any query or confusion related to any setting you can ask me in the comment section or you can directly ask me on my discord server so this is it until next time happy noding bye